have a right to do that, as far as I'm concerned. We breed dogs, mm -hmm. so, but I believe in fixing animals. I don't care if it's a dog or a cat. Tell me oh. the parts of their argument that you disagree with them. You buy a dog, you kill a dog. It's not that simple. You cannot simple sim make life that simple. You just mm -hmm. can't simplify it. You can't do that. So how's the response been from the crowd? Um, it seems like most people coming here are just coming to look and, and get the free stuff. So that's, okay. that's what I'm Down doing. with PETA! Down with PETA! Oh. No good! Down with PETA! You're crazy! Breeders do not kill their dogs! Breeders do not kill their dogs! There is such a thing as a reputable breeder. There is such a thing as a reputable breeder. Okay? We pledge to a code of ethics. If you have one of my dogs, five years down the road, you're moving, you can't keep your dog, it comes to me. No questions asked. Twice this has happened, it comes back to me. That's my pledge. And a lot of people are defending their um, choice to, to breed their animals, despite the fact that there's millions of dogs and cats being killed every day because people are breeding more animals than have homes. What about their claim that for every dog that's bought, one dies in the shelter? How do you, what do you say to that? Um, a majority of the dogs that are in shelters, unfortunately, are purebred dogs. It does not mean they came from a reputable, responsible breeder. If they came from a reputable or responsible breeder, nine times out of ten, the breeder is going to take the dog back. It's people that, backyard breeders is what we call them, or people producing puppies for money. You cannot say everybody's bad. You can't do it. That is my biggest message is that please don't lump everybody together don't say you know <laughs> that we're all we're all a bunch of murderers we're not we care and they are standing out there and they are saying we're murderers and it hurts me what do you do about these irresponsible people how do how do you tackle that <sighs> it's really hard you know you want to shoot yourself in the head sometimes look i'm a dog groomer okay I make my living grooming doodle dogs. Poorly, poorly bred dogs. And yes, it is heartbreaking, Shelly. Uh -huh. It is heartbreaking. And and yes, those dogs can wind up in shelters. What is your actions? What are action items you're doing to try to stop these back? It's very breeders? difficult. It's really hard. So, well, we do shows like this. Uh -huh. You know, and it's got to be hard for some of these breeds like poodles where everybody crosses, you know, you put dew on the end of a dog and everybody thinks it's cute and they charge $2,500, you know. It's very, very hard to combat breeders like that. And yes, they are breeders. We are all breeders. We will be bringing lives into the world. But what are they, you know, what, what responsibility are they taking? And that's what kills me. What are you guys, the responsible breeders, doing about those irresponsible guys? They must really annoy you. They do. You know, we work, I work very heavily with rescue, just not for my breed, for other breeds. And we are doing everything we can to take anything out of the shelter that is the purebred dog that it is. Why Please. are breeders so against spay-neuter ordinances? Oh, that's a very good and very big question. Mm -hmm. I have to think about it, you know? No, honestly, it, know. it's a really valid question. It's a totally valid question. I think it comes down to rights. Freedom of choice is a very important and very American value, but when that choice is causing individual dogs to suffer, I think most people would feel like, you know, a trade-off has to be made. And so breeders, good breeders, feel that you're infringing on their rights. And it, it, it's a slippery slope. I don't know what the solution is. I wished I had a, a, a good answer it, it for that. It seems like breeders would be behind a well-written ordinance that would yeah. stop the backyard breeders that are causing you guys so much annoyance. And I agree with that. And I'll tell you, and I have said it, this is personal. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I would go out to the front of that building and shake Peter's hands and say, work together. I have wanted to for a long time. Certain dogs are so extremely bred that they can't breathe properly or they have horrible pain or they die young or hip dysplasia or all these issues. That's great cruelty to these dogs and not much you can do about it once they're born. So for people to insist that they want a certain kind of dog, if that's not in the dog's best interest, I think that's a very painful trade-off for them to make. What do you say? to the poor breeding that they're claiming is going on? Um, first, I would say they should get an education and learn about genetics and ge genetic variants in any dog. Also, they breed only for looks. 
they don't care about the temperament of the animals and they're breeding into into these guys a lot of um, aggression issues that you know really can't be dealt with by most people and they end up in the shelter because of it and I don't have hip problems I don't have heart problems I don't have any of these things that they're stating that us breeders are breeding into our dogs and one of the things that sets us apart from from backyard breeders is, is, is health testing mm -hmm. disease because that's one of the things that people talk about oh look you look at these dogs they're they're an abomination look they're too long they're too short they don't you know God didn't make them this way first of all they were made 800 years ago in this shape. Corgi means dwarf dog. So they've been this way for a long time. And they say, oh, these people, they have these issues. Bulldogs are brachiocephalic and pugs they can't breathe. And they kill over and they do this and they, they do that. They talk to me about that. Yes. And, and it's valid. Uh -huh. You know, like I said, reputable breeders do listen. And it is valid. What, it's what do you do about it? So we know when you breed a clear to what we call an at-risk, the dogs will not have it. This dog is, I've eliminated a disease in my next litter of puppies. Do you call yourself a dog, I don't know if this is the right word, dog lover or a newfie lover? I mean, do you? I love dogs. You do? Okay. I do. Tell me about, because in shelters, you know, they're talking about four to five million dogs are killed in shelters every year. I mean, that just sounds like such a huge number. You know, I can't quote on the number exactly because I don't like, you know, yeah, give me like 10 minutes and I can tell you some info. <gasps> Pretty much what it comes down to is that it's not just going after breeders. It's making people more aware and people becoming more responsible for the dog they get. Do they love their dogs? Well, I'm probably as much as the circus loves their elephants. I mean, when you're only breeding for a certain look and you're looking, you know, like horse breeders look for confirmation and this sort of thing, you start just looking at these animals as things that you can build a certain way. And, oh, I'm going to mix this breed with that breed to come up with a new product. They're products. When you go to an animal shelter mm -hmm. and you see the dogs yeah. there that are going to be killed, yeah. how do you feel about that? I mean, what happens in your it's, Of course I'm sad. Of course I'm sad. And yes, I wish I could do something honestly. I do. And I, you know, and if I thought honestly that it was so simple, it might have made a difference, but it's not. And I know it to be true. I've been involved in corgis a long time and I know, and I go to shelters. Yeah. I do go to shelters and I do see, and like I said, I, I go to shelters and I pull corgis out. I do think that they care about their animals, but I think they don't want them to, don't want the shelters to be able to say, look at how many unwanted purebred animals that we have. So as long as there's too many animals for and not enough homes, I think that the responsible and kind thing to do for people who really do love animals is to go to their shelter or go to a purebred dog rescue and give a home to somebody who would otherwise be killed. People that want a corner will not go to a shelter and adopt a chihuahua. They, and we always tell people, when somebody calls me and says, I want a corgi, the very first thing I say is, why do you want a corgi? What is the reason? If they don't know exactly, the very first thing I say is go to a shelter. I said, there are a lot of dogs that need help. They need help, they need hope, they, they need homes. Well, if people are looking for a dog, they need to adopt a dog that you know, needs rescuing rather than paying someone to breed more dogs when we have you know, too many cats and dogs that are getting killed in the shelters. You know, obviously you'll have a few of the breeders come out who are disgusted with us. Dog shows were invented to promote breeds, to promote breeding stock. This is something people do for fun or they do for a living. People don't want to come to a dog show and be berated by individuals that don't have an education behind it. I think these shows um, encourage people to want to have pure breed dogs Absolutely. and then the breeder you know then you have all these backyard breeders and the, the big breeders and the little breeders they're all bad breeders but people are saying they're buying from good breeders when there's really no good breeder but they all come here and they see the purebred dogs and that's what they want because yeah. you know they're all shined up and they look really pretty they got hairspray on and they look sh so beautiful and elegant and that's what they want no I'm telling you they're yeah. picketing the wrong place they yeah. really are and I wish they could go out to you know parts of Santa Rosa where chihuahuas are being pumped out by the dirty dozen. But they can't see. Here's the problem is we're public. 
and that we're an easy target. What we say is if you're looking for a dog, here's a list of local rescue groups, all the breed specifics. There's PetFinder.com, which is a fabulous resource, I think, because you can specify the breed and the sex and the age. But I can promise you, and I mean it, it is a promise that when I breed and I bring a life into this world and I only breed once, maybe every two years, you know, I, I don't produce a lot of dogs, but that dog I know where it is from life to death. See, that's what you get a lot. We adopted our dog. I even had one person say, we bought our dog at the shelter. And I was like, I heard the bot and I was thinking it was going to come out breeder. And then she said, at the shelter. And I was like, oh good, okay.